John, you can welcome. There's some people online, so just welcome them. Oh, okay. All right. Welcome, everyone. This is uh, John Hewlett, um, Dr. Brad's friend. We've had a little bit of a technical delay today, so we apologize to any of you for the inconvenience. We're trying to hook up between uh, 7,500 feet up in the Uinta Mountains east of Salt Lake um, and also wherever Dr. Brad is. So I'm not sure if he's in Florida or if he's back in St. George. So we are really grateful to have you here with us. This is Heart Month. February's Heart Month, and we're down the last couple of days, and we wanted to talk about uh, women's heart health and how important that is for women. And then also we wanted to visit about vitamin uh, D3, its importance in our immune system and protecting us, and also um, uh, how important nitric oxide is in uh, supporting the immune system in these challenging times. The last couple of years have been pretty rough for most people. Um, most have had uh, one form or another of the flu. We won't refer to it other than uh, perhaps uh, flus and variants of the flu, but um, we've seen some remarkable benefits from uh, keeping your immune system strong and making sure that you have adequate um, nitric oxide, which helps keep your lungs open to that. Uh, today's webinar with Dr. Brad will be discussing those types of things and then we'll also be taking questions on the uh, Q&A side of the, uh, the webinar. So um, I guess we're, we're still trying to get Dr. Brad live. He's a man on the move, you know, many of you who know him, he's, uh, he's quite the quite the adventurer and uh, flies himself all over the country. And last I had heard he was in, um, he was in Florida. So it'd be uh, great to catch up with him once he comes. And uh, we appreciate you on Let us know where you're uh, tuning in from. We saw one uh, from Germany and um, I'm sure we have others here from North America. You know, as we look at what's going on throughout the globe, it makes it all the more important for people to have the benefits of uh, the body code and the emotion code. The emotion code and body code have been very valuable to my wife and I over the last seven years since we got to know uh, Dr. Brad and, and Jean. Uh, we use it on a regular basis and it's made a huge impact in our life and the lives of our family. And of course, we've been so thrilled to get to know them uh, and to learn from them and to have shared many, many wonderful experiences um, from Brad and Jean and our association with them. And they've found the benefits of Cardio Miracle and nitric oxide to be uh, of great benefit to them as well. You know, some of you may or may not know that Dr. Brad's older brother, his mentor, um, Dr. Nelson, who lives up in uh, uh, Montana, had a very severe stroke a few years ago, and strokes seem to run a little bit in the Nelson genealogy, just like heart disease uh, runs in my family. And um, Dr. Bruce Nelson, some of you know Lana, who's, uh, you know, in our opinion, one of the great uh, practitioners in the world on the uh, emotion code, the food code, the body code. Um, she they started giving him our nitric oxide supplement and Bruce's recovery was amazing. And he's continued to be uh, healthy and amazing. Um, he's had a hard time in the last couple of years because his hearing has faded. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, that was a problem. And But his from the stroke, it's uh, really quite remarkable, the, the journey he's come back. So he's a very faithful user of Cardio Miracle, sees the benefits on a, on a regular basis. Um, Joe, if you have the, if you wanna put this, any of the slides up while you're still trying to connect with Brad, that'd be fine. I can go ahead and start into those things. And then when Brad gets here, we will um, continue on. But um, I don't see any of the slide deck. So if that, if somebody wants to put that up, that would be great. And then I can start moving forward for these good people who've joined us today. We're, we apologize again for 
some of the technical glitches. One of the things that we've had a challenge is being in the tops of the mountains. Uh, we, we now are using a satellite system that we just installed in the last week. And we're hoping that the transmission is adequate from, from that. We've tried just about everything, but we're not near enough to the um, fiber, optical, uh, fiber optic cable. So we've had to find other alternatives and often we drive 45 minutes to get to our office, but today we're, we're in my uh, mountain lodge uh, east of Park City and we're broadcasting from there via our Starlink satellite system. So we're, we're happy to have that. So uh, Gabe or Joe, are there some slides we can put up? Is that possible to do on this link? Thank you. Great. This month is Heart Month, February, and as part of Heart uh, Health, we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, women's health. And uh, because we, I've noticed through the years, the women are the caregivers, and they're the ones who uh, help help take care of the whole family. And we know that they're great uh, men practitioners with the body code and the emotion code, but uh, most of our experience has been with the, the women, the caregivers. So heart disease, the next slide, heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States, both for men and women. So let's look at the numbers uh, we can go into. A leading cause of death for women is uh, almost 300,000 or one in every five female deaths and the leading cause of death for African-American and white women. Uh, Native Americans, Polynesians also are affected. Next slide. So the uh, from this gives you a little bit of an interesting demographic of the heart challenge and the darker red is where the uh, heart uh, fatalities are more prevalent by county. And that gives you a feel a little bit for the uh, dietary situation that occurs somewhat in the South, but also uh, a high preponderance of African-American and Native Americans. And just like with uh, the virus, some of you may be aware the last couple of years, um, almost 75% of the deaths were over 70 years old, 65 to 70, and they were Native American, African American, or um, Polynesian Americans in, in that death group. So the, and the reason for that, to move to the next slide, is that there's uh, inadequate nitric oxide. So the, the risk factors, of course, are obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, and stress. And the reason all of these come back to the common denominator, which is lack of nitric oxide and low vitamin D3. Many of you are aware or have seen the studies released uh, with regards to the virus and mortalities is the fact that um, I think one out of Italy said 97% or Israel, 97% of all the deaths from uh, virus association were vitamin D deficient. And so deficient means in most cases, less than uh, 30 or 40 on uh, your vitamin D reading. It's generally said that people had almost no mortality who had vitamin D levels over 60. So that's encouraging. Next slide, please. <clears throat> this is a really important item for women to consider during heart month, for example. Men have more heart attacks, but women have a higher heart attack death rate mortality. Next slide. So one of the things that happens on, on heart uh, situation is that women aren't diagnosed as much. And because they're the caregivers in the family, they often end up having uh, risks that um, go undiagnosed. And sometimes they think it's uh, hormonal or indigestion when in reality, you know, with men, when they have a chest pain or something occurring, they go in for diagnosis. Next slide, please. So the heart attack symptoms for men is primarily sweating, pain in the chest, arms, shortness of breath, heartburn, or indigestion, where women have different symptoms. So they would have an uncomfortable pain between the shoulder blades, shortness of breath, the indigestion aspect, unexplained fatigue, and sleep disturbances and dizziness. So it's important for uh, women to understand the difference in the, in the symptoms that may or may not occur 
um, or be diagnosed and be aware of that. Of course, the best thing is prevention. And one of the things that we stress in the Cardio Miracle family and uh, with Dr. Brad and, and Gene uh, is talking about increasing your nitric oxide, which helps protect you against uh, many of those aspects and uh, warning signs, but then also the vitamin D3 that's delivered. So next slide. Yeah, hey, John, Dr. Brad's with us now, but he uh, his, he needs to turn his video on if he can. Here okay, we go. great. Love to see a smiling face. We've missed him. <laughs> Hi, John. <laughs> hey, there he is. You're back nice home. Nice to see you. Like you're back home. Back home, finally, yep. My gosh, so yeah, did you have a great time in Florida? Yeah, I had a great time in Florida, uh, made some great connections, um, and uh, we're going to be going back in July to do a body code seminar. So we're excited about that. Awesome. Well, you look great. Sorry for the technical challenges. I've just been going over the woman's heart health issues and the fact that women are the, uh, it's the leading cause of death and often the, the highest, even more than men, because it's not diagnosed. And that's, as you well know, from your vast experience, the, uh, the caregiver mentality of women is they kind of tough it out while Man, once they feel that they have the chest pain or the deviating arm, they run to the emergency room out of fear of a heart attack. Most do. I, I think when I had my heart attack, I just ignored it back in 2002 <laughs> and uh, <laughs> later figured out that I'd had a heart event. But yeah, I guess I am. So what the heck? So we've had a, yeah. a nice experience in just uh, just sharing, well, just sharing with people the, the basics. So um any thoughts of welcome when, now that you're here? Sorry. Yeah. Well, it's great to be here. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, I'm Dr. Brad Nelson. For those of, those of you who, uh, who don't know me, I'm the author of The Emotion Code and uh, the creator of The Body Code System. Um, you know, this, this is such an important topic. And uh, I was looking at some stats this morning uh, that, um, that heart issues um, are really a big problem. They're the number one cause of death according to, uh, in the U.S., according to uh, uh, the CDC, 696,962 people died in 2020 uh, mm. from, from heart failure. So, um, so what we're here to talk about is uh, the heart and what an amazing organ really the heart is and how it's so much more than than what uh, scientists think it is. It's uh, much more than, a, than just a pump. You know, the ancient peoples believed the heart was uh, the seat of the soul and the source of love and creativity and romance. And they believe that the heart is really the core of our being. And it's so interesting because if you look at ancient writings, like for example, you look at the Bible, the word heart is mentioned just shy of a thousand times in the Bible. That's amazing, yeah. It really is. And, uh, uh, you know, it's so interesting because back in the 60s, when they started doing heart transplants, people would uh, uh, would come back to the doctor and report how they they had memories of being in places they'd never been before, which turned out in, in uh, every case that they looked at to be memories that were uh, really from the donor. Um, so even, food, hand even, <laughs> even food they didn't like all of a sudden, yeah. you know, I, I read, I read once in one of those books, it talked about a, uh, like a 60 year old who all of a sudden started liking uh, heavy metal music and, uh, and Mexican food and he never <laughs> liked Mexican food in his, in his life. So <laughs> there's, there's obviously, you know, the second brain or the, maybe it's the first brain, who knows yeah. uh, the heart feeling and what a, what a pioneer you have been with the heart wall and how imperative that is to help people to be able to feel love and emotion and make connections where where they've been confused as to why they were detached because of that heart wall yeah absolutely i mean to me it's pretty simple if you if you want uh if you want to maintain or regain the health of your heart and uh, and not become a statistic like like so many people um in my mind, there, there are a few things that you need to do. Um, number one, you need to get rid of that wall that's around the heart. 93% of people have that wall. If, you're, if you don't have one, then you're one of the seven percenters, good for you. But uh, most people have that wall. And it's a, it's a wall of energy that's been put up around the heart 
made from layers of your emotional baggage, those experiences that you've been through that you would rather not have gone through. And sometimes, sometimes you might have a layer or two of emotional energy there that was passed down to you from an ancestor who maybe was thrown into the poorhouse or maybe some other thrown into, thing happened. Or thrown into the lion's den or whatever. Yeah. I mean, the, the, yeah. tra the trauma. I know that uh, Janet right. went back and found, my wife found that she had instances from like the 7th century, the horrific battles and, and wars and murders and problems that people went through. So that's, it's got to be so fascinating for what you've experienced over the last 30 years in developing this. And I, I have a question though, tell how do how many people have you ever tested that don't have a heart wall? Well, uh, it's about 93% of people we think that have a heart wall. Okay, so it's more of an, a kind of an estimate type of thing based upon it, your experience? Yeah, it's kind of an estimate, kind of person, yep. Yeah, what kind of person doesn't have one? Well, you know, people who, um, people who have gone through pretty, um, pretty even lives without a lot of upsets. Really? Um, pe people who weren't really maybe abused when they were kids. Um, huh. pe people who maybe haven't gone through any really severe emotional turmoils, but also people who, um, you know, some people are more naturally um, emotionally intelligent than others. And those people uh, are the kind of people that you know, that you meet sometimes in your life that seem to be kind of unflappable, no matter what goes on, they seem to kind of always be on an even keel. Mm. There are people like that. And wow. Those people are less likely to develop emotional baggage. The rest of us, um, you know, we're more prone to, uh, to those emotional ups and downs. And, and so um, when you feel like your heart is going to break, and that's a physical sensation uh, in the chest that most of us have felt, um, at one point or another, when that's happening, your heart is really under assault. And so the subconscious mind will put up that wall around the heart. So uh, what I found when I was in practice, working with people that have been told there was really no, no hope for them, no help for them at all, people with incurable, supposedly incurable problems, those are, uh, those are most of the people I saw during the last 10 years that I was in practice. And what I found was all of them had a heart wall. And by removing that wall, um, what I would do, it was really interesting. What I would do with these people is I would test to see how all the acupuncture meridians were working, all the chakras, all the organs, all the glands. I would test everything to see how everything was working. And uh, a lot of these people that were coming in to see me with all you know these uh, incurable issues, would uh, I would find imbalances in sometimes in every organ, in every gland, and uh, multiple meridians and chakras and things. And I would experiment sometimes with those people and I would just clear the heart wall, that alone. And then I would come back and reevaluate them and test all the organs and all the glands and all the meridians and all the chakras again. And what I found was that in many cases, clearing that heart wall would turn on multiple organs and glands and chakras and meridians. Mm. So um, it's a really important thing to do uh, you know, for the health of your whole entire body. But of course, especially your heart. So that's that's the number one thing, um, in my opinion, that people need to do. Number two is uh, to get on a really good nitric oxide supplement like Cardio Miracle because it helps the to strengthen and heal the heart physically. And so, um, and of course, that's that's your area of expertise. So there's this beautiful dovetail between the emotion code and the heart wall. And uh, and cardio miracle and and what we know what a great supplement it is. It's uh, it's one of the only supplements that I consistently take. Um, and well, you for look me, so it's, young. You look so young, and you're doing so. You're so vibrant still. I'll like, be 87 yeah. tomorrow. Actually, it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You know, I had an epiphany while you were speaking, and they come few and far between. But essentially, to me the uh, emotional code or blockages are essentially the atherosclerosis of the soul. Yeah, I, I think so that that's, that's a pretty good way to put it. Yeah, we get atherosclerosis in our arteries. And one of the exciting things, uh, Brad, as we found is that we, uh, we just got our, our written paper from Emergent Analytics with over 5 million cross-referenced clinical studies 
and they literally have scientifically proven that the ingredients in Cardio Miracle uh, retard, stop, slow down atherosclerosis buildup in the capillaries and also literally reverse it. It reverses it according to the science. This isn't a That's medical exciting. claim. This is a scientific claim that it says it, re it stops it and reverses it. Now, wow. that's, that's essentially taking 53 <laughs> ingredients with two of the top scientists in the world and 770 mechanisms of action from those 53 ingredients <clears throat> and then cross-referencing all of the available clinical research and data in the world. And they um, came up with that as a scientifically researched conclusion with our combination of 53 ingredients, which was a huge, huge breakthrough. And then fantastic. they came up with, in addition, so, you know, you, you've been, you know, we've been talking to your great uh, following for seven plus years now about Cardio Miracle. Uh, you've been, you know, you've become obviously uh, our family's dearest friends and we've experienced and seen so many things. One of the things that, you know, we can sit and we can talk about all the science to everybody, uh, but you know, the, the proof in, is in the pudding, as I would say. When, when we're endorsed now by, I mean, when we first met, we were endorsed by G. Edward Griffin, uh, John and Janet Hewlett, and then we met Brad Nelson. So. <laughs> Your third endorsement. Third endorsement. <laughs> and that's been a darn good one. But, you know, when we have people like yourself, <clears throat> Dr. Patrick Gentempo, Dr. Christian Northrup, who I was on this week, arguably one of the great women's health doctors of all time. Absolutely. Uh, we are with Judy Mikovits yesterday. Uh, James Smith, the preeminent expert on GMOs in the world. Um, Robert Scott Bell, Dr. Edward Group. I mean, and, and today the, uh, <laughs> the press release went out from, of all people, Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls, the uh, British international adventurer uh, Bear. running wild with Bear Grylls. He endorsed Cardio Miracle worldwide today in an international press release. So, you know, when you have these types of people all saying that this is their go-to supplement each day, you know, for most people, that should be adequate to give it a try, especially when you get a money back. Yeah. I mean, seriously, <clears throat> Judy Mikovits, I talked to her yesterday, Brad. She is probably, yeah. oh, well, and then also we've been now endorsed by Dr. David Martin, who's leading the charge against tyranny in our government right now, who you've met and had extraordinary experience with. I mean, David Amazing Martin's guy. maybe the smartest man I've ever met and Judy Mikovits is probably the smartest woman I've ever met. And I'm dealing with them and they're telling me that they take Cardio Miracle every day and that it's made the huge difference. Well then <clears throat> we've now invested in the science to back up why it works we're the only supplement that's done this kind of research on it. Um, nobody yeah. else has compared five and a half million pieces of clinical data. Uh, I mean, it's cost us tens of thousands of dollars over the last yeah, five years. it's incredible, months. really. But what's exciting is every time I make that investment, uh, it comes back in spades. It comes back that everything that I thought worked, that we've seen with hundreds and hundreds of of your followers over the years, people testing and testing. I mean, you and I both have probably, I've witnessed you testing, you know, maybe over a hundred, 150 people. And not once was there anyone who didn't need a nitric oxide or vitamin D3 boost through the Cardio Miracle supplement. And so I, I think that's one of the best things for your followers and practitioners to understand. This is easily validated with people who are competent body and emotion code practitioners. And you, you've been just such a sterling example. And we've seen remarkable results with the one-two punch of what we maybe we, maybe we should write a book, emotional, emotional atherosclerosis and physical atherosclerosis as the solutions to people's health. Yeah, you know, that, that's not a bad idea. Well, I'm really excited about the research. That that's uh, that's really incredible. Um, I don't think that there is. Uh, I don't think there's there, there's anything else that I know of that's Nothing actually been like shown that. to reverse atherosclerosis. Um, yeah, that's what they said. In fact, 
the, let's uh, Joe pull up the uh, emergent analytics because uh, Brad's probably glanced at it in his busy schedule. But this is uh, this is the study done by Emergent Systems Analytics, uh, one of the premier analyst analysts in the in the world. Next slide. So what we are we asked them in August of this year to look at is to identify the, the products, the ingredients in nitro oxide in our cardio miracle. And they found out of the 53 ingredients, 770 substances and mechanisms actually came from those 53 ingredients. So we wanted them to focus on atherosclerosis and they completed the analysis and compared the effects of all 770 mechanisms and not just the group A cardio miracle. Then the next part in, in October to identify Cardio Miracle's effect on vitamin D. You know, Brad, I've always told you that I, I feel like, I felt like Cardio Miracle be far more efficacious and absorbable. And when I <clears throat> told the Austrian scientist, uh, who's a real character, he's been in the pharmaceutical PhD world for 30 years, he laughed at me. I said, I think, I think Cardio Miracle makes vitamin D more efficacious. And he goes, oh, come on. Well, two weeks later, he sent me an email. He said, I don't know how you knew this, but it's, you're right. And I apologize. I was wrong. So that was interesting. Uh, and we'll get into that in a minute. And then, the, and then the thing we're not supposed to talk about medically, the emerging story of the, the flu, um, yep. the Cardio Miracle interaction and the overlap analysis that they also completed. And then they did um, the Cardio Miracle report on vitamin D efficacy and atherosclerosis and uh, the impact on COVID. So next slide, let's just, we'll breeze through these. So the key findings. So they took all of the existing diseases in the world, 2,700 of them, and started scoring them on those associated with vitamin D deficiency and CM, which is Cardio Miracle's core pharmacology, activating and stabilizes the cavalar mediated endocytosis. These are all beyond my pay grade, but this shows the little teeny um, dips or little pa pa uh, pouches or pockets in the uh, cell and how what happens is the nitric oxide and the D open up the cell in order for it to go down and be absorbable. So right. here, go back. I wasn't finished there, thanks. All right, one of the key parts, analysis of cardio miracle effects that, and this is a major, this was a breakthrough that is not anywhere in the literature, anywhere in the world, that these ingredients increase the conversion of inactive and active forms of vitamin D and increases cellular uptake of vitamin D. The net result is increased vitamin D efficacy. This feedback loop is supported by the cardio miracle ingredients that increase nitric oxide production and decrease vitamin D inactivation. <clears throat> so what that means is so interesting is that the nitric oxide with the other supporting ingredients and the vitamin D in the cardio miracle formula. This isn't taking 10,000 I use separately. This is inside the formula. Every serving right. of the formula literally grabs the inert or inactivated stored vitamin D and activates it for people's absorbability. This blew the scientists away. They said, we have never seen anything that can go into the cell and activate the stored vitamin D that the body stores up, you know, during the sunshine days for the winter days, it's hard for it to be released. The nitric oxide combination of our vitamin D essentially stirs it up and turns it into almost uh, a turbocharge. And that's why we're seeing the vitamin D levels go up so significantly, which is critical for the immune health. So let's go to the next slide. This is a network of some of the top diseases talking about everything from, you know, CoQ10 deficiency, rickets, osteoporosis, uh, alcohol use, coronary artery disease, and the protein network with the vitamin D deficiency. One of the main things they talked about, which should appeal to your many of your female practitioners, is the concern with osteoporosis. Now, I've seen 
quite a, a few men with osteoporosis, but I've seen a lot more women in my day. And it this, women, all, Mario. yeah, it does. So this is interesting, showing the, that hyperpituitary uh, patients show vitamin D levels lower than normal. So in those patients, the vitamin D represents additional risk for osteoporosis. So if you have a pituitary problem or a thyroid problem, you're at additional risk for osteoporosis. So they're saying here, essentially what they're saying is nitric oxide and vitamin D delivered through Cardio Miracles formula is far more effective than taking a whole bunch of calcium, calcium supplements that aren't absorbable. Because what happens when the body can't absorb the calcium, it ends up laying it down in the capillaries and the arteries and you end up with atherosclerosis. So you end up with problems. Or, you know, maybe you want to elaborate on that for people. Well, I simply put, um, this is why I take Cardio Miracle all the time. <laughs> well, and, and, and I would suspect, Brad, that I, I mentioned earlier before you came on live with us that uh, your brother Bruce, you know, had had a stroke, that your father had had an aneurysm, right. um, that that was obviously one of your big concerns. I would suspect the excess calcium and the atherosclerosis and the you know, of those little capillaries are, are the culprit to the breakdown of those capillaries that lead to an aneurysm. Well, the weakening of the, uh, the, the weakening of the vessel walls, um, and of course, sometimes it's a genetic thing, but, um, but Cardio Miracle, of course, uh, by, by strengthening the endothelium and strengthening those vessels and helping to reduce the, uh, uh, the plaque buildup uh, is, for me personally, uh, Part of the reason why I take it is, is uh, as insurance. an insurance policy, <laughs> yeah. right? Because yeah. um, my father had an aneurysm and uh, eventually died uh, from complications from that. And my brother, Bruce, like you say, he, he had one. My sister had one too. And um, so I've, I've worked to clear any kind, of, um, any kind of inherited emotional baggage that could be an underlying sure. cause of that. Sure. But, uh, but on the other side of it, I'm, that's part of the reason why I take the cardio miracle is just because I the have a little more peace of mind. Sure. Yeah. Sure. But now sure. to, to know that it's actually also um, reversing to reduce and reverse yeah. atherosclerosis is really kind of incredible. Well, I'm really and, excited about that. Yeah. And again, we've had, we've had, I get reports all the time. I, I wish I could speak freely about the medical miracles that we see constantly that are verifiable. I even had, one that I can't talk about having to do with calcium in the heart muscle. And after a year's time, the person was thrilled. I can't say any more than that. Uh, yeah. Their doctor was shocked. The person was thrilled. Most of our experiences with Cardio Miracle is the doctors are shocked and the right. customers are thrilled. We can't make the medical claim, but we can say you can try it for yourself and, and see those results. Yeah. Let's take a look at the last couple of slides of the study. I think you'll find them interesting. Mm -hmm. So. Um, cavalier mediated endocytosis, uh, the carb cardio miracle activates and stabilizes the CME to increase nitric oxide, increases the calcitrol production, and uh, decreases the TTF beta. You should have heard Dr. Uh, Mikovic uh, talk to Judy Mikovic talking about this. She was flipping over this. She thought it was amazing. But if you look yeah. at the right hand diagram, essentially what it's saying is NO or nitric oxide and vitamin D3 goes over and helps activate and stabilize the cavalier mediated endocytosis. And essentially it, it creates almost centrifugal force of the vitamin D absorption to help do that. And then it also helps uh, overcome the peroxynitrite, which is the uh, free radical that is most damaging the body. So let's yeah. go to the next slide. And that's exciting. Well, yeah, all of this explains, of course, uh, uh, all of the, the amazing results that you've seen and, and that I've seen as well over these years using Cardio Miracle and, uh, and seeing other people use it and seeing the effects on them. One of the nice things, of course, that our practitioners can do, and I think you were alluding to this earlier, is uh, they can test this. Uh, you know, don't, don't rely on our word about it. You can actually test this. And for those of you that have been around me for a while, you know, you can test it at a distance. You just think about it, do a test, do a sway test, do a muscle test, self-test, whatever, and uh, ask if this is something that would be beneficial for you. 
And if it is, then go ahead and get it. I mean, uh, it's, it's really just that simple. So uh, yeah, keep going. Next, next slide. Slide master, next slide. There we go. Here we go. Uh, the uh, increased nitric oxide production by Cardio Miracle results in increased CME that we talked about and vitamin D efficacy. Um, and then it says this, the next box, inhi inhibition of TGF signaling stops the progression of atherosclerosis and causes the regression of the established disease. That's a remarkable statement. Scientifically yeah. proving the aspect of these ingredients. And then um, it talks about the, you know, goes through more technical detail, but the final conclusion in the box three is reduction in Kavaline one level stops the development of atherosclerosis. Well, most people, you know, atherosclerosis is kind of like a time bomb that it's going to yeah. eventually happen to everyone. And so by what they're essentially saying is that the nitric oxide and the vitamin D and the ingredient support of the cardio miracle stops the development of atherosclerosis. And I can't say the number of people that have come back to me who've done different types of testing and they've said um, things like, my cardiologist is shocked because my situation seems to be doing so differently. Um, I wish I could speak more clearly on that, but the reality is this is the science that now backs up what we have felt uh, and what we had seen from literally hundreds and hundreds of uh, customers having benefits in the cardiovascular area. And just like with, uh, you know, we're currently in a drought here in the Western United States. And, and if you don't water your lawn, or if you don't get the water as on your farm to the end of the row, the crops die. Well, atherosclerosis is essentially the way that your plumbing system or your sprinkling system of your body gets clogged up and you can't get the blood, the oxygen, the nutrients to the end of the row. And that's when you start seeing at the extremities, uh, neuropathy, uh, macular degeneration, in my opinion, uh, Alzheimer's dementia, periodontal disease, osteoporosis, all of these things are lacking the delivery of the essential nutrients to those cells and so if there's any way you can improve that delivery, I think that becomes very significant in prevention of these types of chronic diseases. Well, I, I totally agree. I mean, think about this. Imagine, uh, however old you are right now, imagine if you had the circulation that you had when you were 10 years old and how different you'd feel and how, how much more energy you'd have and how much healthier you'd be. Uh, and you might think that you're immune from atherosclerosis, but you know, they did a study back in the Korean war and they found that a high percentage of those young men that they tested uh, already had atherosclerosis uh, in their early twenties. So um, that was a long time ago. And um, the American diet has, uh, has actually gotten quite a bit worse since then, unfortunately. And that's kind of the GMOs that uh, Dr. Smith talks about, the fact that we're being poisoned in a lot of our food. Um, yeah. the, the ingredients in, in this formula, Cardio Miracle, have been tested at the highest levels. We go through extensive testing to make sure that uh, the organic is uh, clean and pure, uh, the organic ingredients, but also the other ingredients that are food and plant-based uh, are of the highest quality. I mean, we've spared no expense, but at the same time, the, the benefit when people say, well, you know, it seems a little, you know, it's, a, it's less than a cup of coffee for most people. It's less than an energy drink that's poisoning them and causing atherosclerosis. You know, the caffeine depletes your nitric oxide. So the more caffeine you're drinking to get that energy, you're, you're getting energy for a few minutes while you're clogging up your arteries for the future. So I, I, yep. used, to, I used to tell my friends who are, you know, the chronic um, habitual and, you know, they'd look at me and say, well, you're not Jack LaLanne, um, you know, you're a little bit short for your weight, not very good shape. And I said, well, I'm, I'm at least not drinking heart attack in a glass with Diet Coke six times a day. So the, the reality is, uh, you know, one of the challenges that we get from aspartame and the artificial sweeteners is it dehydrates, uh, dehydrates these little microcapillaries in your body and your brain. 
And so you're getting a, the stimulation from the caffeine while you're dehydrating the, ca the microcapillaries, which is a serious problem, which is where eventually it leads to the breakdown of that capillary wall when it's dehydrated. And that would lead to the aneurysm or the stroke. So what we're saying is substitute something that's good for you at $1.30, $1.40 a serving in a cardio miracle, which you can get on our specials and on our monthly subscription, substitute that as your drink of choice twice a day. You can throw out two thirds of the stuff in your supplement cabinet that's no longer, that you're, you're basically paying for expensive urine most of the time. And, and the fact that just like in this study with emergence, we found that our bioavailable and vitamin D at 1500 units is far more effective than somebody taking 10,000 units in a capsule or in drops. That was exciting for us because I, I felt it was true. Now I've paid a lot of money to prove it scientifically, so. Well, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Congratulations on getting this research done. That's, uh, that's incredible. It just, it just proves uh, what, uh, what you've known and, and what I've known as well, that the Cardio Miracle works. And, uh, and it's, there's something kind of almost magical about it because um, there are lots of nitric oxide supplements out there on the market, of course, but um, Cardio Miracle is much more than just a, a nitric oxide supplement. Uh, you know, those are kind of a dime a dozen, but Cardio Miracle is something very special. And, uh, and I think that this research uh, now that you've obtained is showing why and, um, and why so many people have had such amazing results from it. So, uh, well, it's well been I've great. always, yeah. I've known well, for a long time you were a smart guy, but I think you're actually <laughs> maybe a genius and don't know it. Well, people, people are just inspired. And does it. Yeah, these, these scientists, I'll say, you're a genius, but you don't seem that smart. And I said, I just, I just connect the, I said, I just connect the dots. You know, I, I, and, and seriously, I know, I've known that uh, there's a, a, a real aspect of, of, of inspiration. I mean, I, I've been led to people who are very smart, who've given me interesting insights. For example, a couple of years ago, I was, you know, I, 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 t I tinker with this every year just because I, I hear and learn things that you know, make things more important. Uh, and a couple of years ago, uh, I thought, you know, I need to add quercetin to this and it's expensive. And I thought, boy, you know, we've already got 52 ingredients, but I've got to add a quercetin. Well, interesting enough in this vitamin D analysis, uh, one of the key elements is the impact the quercetin has on vitamin D's mechanisms. And so it was just, you know, one of those things. And, and yet I don't think there's another um, cardiovascular nitric oxide uh, product that has quercetin. None of them have turmeric, none of them have astaxanthin, none of them have selenium, uh, none of them have seven organic fruits and vegetables in it. None of them have three types of arginine. But, you know, as you know, from having known me during these seven years, in fact, kind of for funny for the listeners, I used to, you know, the, the Nelsons were my taste testers and Brad would go, oh, this tastes great. And Gene would go, this is terrible. And so I, we would, <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget when I'd worked really hard for about six months on a new formulation, I brought it to the Nelsons and we're sitting around their, their uh, beautiful uh, granite uh, countertop and I, and I handed it to Gene and she took one sip of it and she goes, this is awful. <laughs> But from that conversation, she says, why don't you put some of this stuff in it? And so, yeah. you know, I, I probably should give you some even additional special consideration because she brought out some organic coconut water from a very, very unique facility in uh, Oregon. And on the way home from your house, as I lifted my bruised pride off the floor mat of my car from yeah. Gene not liking the taste, we called that company and I flew to Oregon and we ended up adding five or six of our organic powders from that very company, from that taste test at the Nelson house. So, you know, um, we've tried to do our best. The good news is we offer a money back guarantee. We say, get the blood work, you'll see it for yourself. We now have the science to back it up. You, you can test it. One of the great things about the uh, Emotion Code family is they can test it and uh, or have somebody they trust test it. So, you know, depending, because 
we've had a couple of people at some of your meetings say, oh, it doesn't test good for me. And then after doing a few things, we found they had some serious blockages about certain ingredients that they had some emotional challenges with certain types of things. And you would remove those blockages. And then all of a sudden they tested out again that it was good for them as a 10. It was a bit fascinating to me. All right, well, sometimes what happens is people have, um, uh, trapped emotional energies can cause self-sabotage for us. So that something that might actually benefit us, we, in the deep subconscious, we might not feel deserving or we might not feel worthy to actually be healthier. We might feel like on some level that we need to be punished or, you know what I mean? And that's what getting rid of the emotional baggage is about is uh, it's about clearing out all of those blockages that you might have so that you can uh, really uh, become who you really were intended to be uh, in this world. So yeah, you can check yourself for that kind of thing and see if there might be something like that going on. But but that, that is such a great, uh, such a great capacity that everybody has that's been trained, um, you know, in our, in our network or um, other people that have been trained in other networks that the subconscious mind has the answers. And um, through quantum physics and the nature of the universe, we're all interconnected. And so you can, you can test cardio miracle right now from wherever you are, test yourself, ask your subconscious mind, is this something that would benefit me? And uh, you'll, if you're like most people, the vast majority, you, you'll probably get a yes answer. And if you get a no answer there, there you might want to check yourself to see if there's something um, blocking you from being able to get a clear answer about this. Because really, um, this, you know, in my experience, it's uh, everybody benefits from taking this supplement. And if you get to be uh, at a certain age, how, how old, what, what age is it that they say that your, um, your nitric oxide production drops by about half? I'm trying to remember. Well, probably by about, about the age of 50, 50, 55, it, it drops about 5% every decade okay. as you get out of your 20s. Uh, and then faster for some who aren't taking as good a care of themselves. And, you know, right. one of the things that, you know, the thing I find amazing about you, uh, Dr. Brad, is that you always have a great attitude. You, you have an extraordinary <laughs> perspective in life. And uh, I've been delighted that you found Cardio Miracle as, as been of assistance in, in your confidence in moving forward. Now, I'd like to just have a conversation with your folks a little bit about what we've experienced the last two years. We have seen the most disruptive, uh, you know, probably the worst thing that's happened in our society since either World War II or the Great Depression. And, um, and so this has all been new for most of us. We live a pretty darn comfortable life. And yet people around us are dropping like flies. I don't know if you've noticed, but there are more funerals. There are more people that uh, have died unexpectedly. And we won't get into the politics of that. You can connect the dots yourself. Uh, we, in our study, uh, the scientists said there's benefits for the immune system and in the prevention of some of the challenges that what we've experienced has caused to the endothelium. Because if you do the research, you'll find that whatever this pathogen is that we've experienced, it attacks the endothelium. That's what it does. It attacks the smallest cell in our vasculature and that causes the damage. And then other things that people have done for treatment or prevention also cause potentially damage to that endothelium. Our science tells us that nitric oxide helps improve and support the endothelial health in the best possible way. Now, I felt that I was afflicted about a year ago. I was stuffed up for a couple of days, had a little runny nose and had a cough. Uh, I've always had a cough. I've lived with a cough my whole life. I, you know, probably when you're a few pounds overweight, you put a little extra pressure on your lungs. But I had that. I breezed right through it. No problem. Didn't miss a day's work or anything. And that was, I think, supposedly one of the more serious parts of whatever's been released upon humanity from whatever source. My wife, who has been immune compromised for 40 years, uh, we met and married eight years ago. She's been in amazing condition since then with her health. 
Uh, she had chronic fatigue. She had uh, fibromyalgia. She was on several very toxic, addictive medications that, that she had been prescribed over the years. Uh, she's been able to get off all of those. And, and, and she still has different issues in life. And I certainly have issues in life. I, I still have some neuropathy because I don't eat as well as I should. But I can't even imagine what I would have if I didn't take my four servings a day of, of Cardio Miracle. But I had that happen to me a year ago. A few months ago, with the new uh, plague going around, which is less severe to most people, I got a couple of weeks, a month ago, I had a sore throat. I hadn't had a sore throat in 15 years, but for three days I had a sore throat. So I pounded four to six servings of Cardio Miracle. I also did some of the um, things that are often uh, downplayed by the media uh, and the establishment because they don't want you to take something that costs a couple of dollars uh, a dose. But I took a little bit of, of what many people and many countries have embraced as prevention and in three days, I was fine, no problem. Um, other people from our team, we were having a, a meeting at the time, also came down with various things. Some got knocked down for a couple of days. Some felt tired for you know four or five days, uh, but they all bounced through it. No hospitalizations, no serious illness. Some people were uncomfortable for a little while, but. I think it all comes back to Dr. Brad and you've spent your whole life in holistic health and in alternative health therapy. It all comes back to the immune system. So you've yep. got to build your immune system with vitamin D and with nitric oxide and with antioxidants safely and effectively. And I submit to you, my friend, Dr. Brad, that there is no supplement in the world, none that has been scientifically proved, proven to do the things that this supplement does and help support the immune system because the immune system is almost overwhelmingly um, dependent upon nitric oxide and vitamin D uh, support, in my opinion. I think you're absolutely right. Well, so the question, um, the question that you need to ask yourself as, as a viewer here is, um, you know, if all this did for you, was uh, start to reverse your atherosclerosis, would it be worth the investment? Um, you know, or you could ask yourself, you know, if all this did for you was uh, improve the circulation in your body and, and increase the function of your immune system, would it be worth the investment? I mean, what are you spending your money on now? Uh, this is just one of those things that to me uh, is it's an essential part of how I take care of myself and um, so just food for thought, uh, you can test, your, test, test yourself for this and, uh, and see what, what kind of answer you get. And if you've got friends and uh, relatives that, uh, that you care about, uh, you might wanna let them know about this too, because uh, uh, I, think that, uh, I think that this is something that can help everybody in some really significant ways. One of the things that, a um, couple of closing thoughts. Um, of course, there's an offer for people. It's a money back guarantee, uh, discounts. You can buy four, get a third one free. Uh, I just, we've, we've had a, a unbelievable, our most successful month ever with Heart Month uh, because we've encouraged our existing customers to prepare against the shipping and strikes and the problems and having make sure they have a three to six months supply of Cardio Miracle because we don't know when the, you know, with what's going on over now in uh, Ukraine, uh, the price of gas, you don't think the price of gas isn't going to impact shipping costs, uh, ingredient transportation, uh, the cost of oil is going to impact, you know, the, the types of ca containers that we make. We're encouraging everyone to stock up now because we're going to be faced with some horrific uh, price increases with the inflation that's been inflicted upon our society the last year um, and what's headed for. We don't know. So we're encouraging people take advantage now of our existing inventory, our existing pricing, because we're fighting daily in every possible way. If you'll share it with others, you can get on our subscription program and save, uh, you know, like 30 percent. 
You can share it with others and get another discount. We're not a multi-level, but if you're a practitioner and you want to share it with your customers, we have a practitioner program you can call our 800 number on. We just want you to help yourself, your loved ones, and your family. I am so sick of watching people I love die that don't need to die, watching people get sick and get hospitalized and then have protocols that I believe are evil in nature uh, destroying their lives. It's just, it's just... It's just, it's just, that's the hardest thing for me to observe right now. And I know that you probably feel exactly the same way. Brad. I do. Uh, exactly. Yep. So God bless you all. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks so much for uh, being patient with our uh, start, which was a little slow, but you know, maybe we start slow and finish, finish strong, but we, we just love and care about humanity. Dr. Brad has devoted and Jean have devoted their lives to bettering the human condition. And that's what John and Janet Hewlett have done the last eight years. And uh, we're doing everything we can to fight medical tyranny, forcing things upon us that don't need to be forced, but you can do something about it if you strengthen your immune system. And that's why we would encourage you to consider this option. Try it for yourself. It doesn't work, it doesn't test out. If you don't feel the difference, call us, we'll coach you through it or we'll return your money, no problem. We just wanna see people benefit and we're grateful to have our dear friend, Dr. Brad, uh, endorse it as, as, as his go-to supplement every day. That's, that's such a wonderful compliment. So final word. way up, John. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, you're amazing. Uh, thank you for creating this product that's helping so many people all over the world and helping me and Jean and, uh, and so many of the people that, uh, that are in the emotion code family. So God we bless love you. you. We you. love you and appreciate you. you. Look forward to flying off to somewhere warm with you soon. So we'll talk. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> talk to you later. Thanks everyone for being with us. Thanks everyone.